you're now saying, well, he takes a bunch of this and he takes a bunch of that and he's putting this up his whoopsie. And look, they may be all a true. The reason I always think it's good to caveat that stuff with is because it makes people think, well, if I start putting stuff up my whoopsie, all of a sudden I'm going to look like Marius. And I tell you right now, you are not. Simon the Board AO here. Thank you for joining me as always. And today... We are talking about Marius Pudzianowski. Now, I probably butchered that name, even though I've been watching him for years. And where you actually may recognize him from is stuff like this. With a strained calf muscle, he is doing a tremendous job early on. It's oh, under 10 seconds. 47.43 is the time to beat. 353 pounds in each hand. That's right, he used to be the world's strongest man. And when I was a kid, one of the reasons I was so drawn to him, because I was like, look, everybody in world's strongest man is absolutely phenomenal specimens. But he looked like this. As a guy that was growing up being like, I love muscles, they are the best. You just kind of stared at him like, I don't know how you've done this. Well, maybe I do a little bit. But the point is you look so much more like a bodybuilder compared to the other strong men, because of course it's a different discipline and you don't need to look like that, but it was absolutely crazy. Now. Recently, he has got into MMA where he's been doing stuff like this. But it also means that uh, before his next fight, he's gone out there and he's done a bunch of press. And SB Nation have this article where literally he said, you want to know about the diet behind my physique? I eat whatever I want, whenever I want. And this is just going to make you a very sad panda. Now, I should also say that uh, this was in promotion for the fight he had on Saturday, which he won. I believe he knocked the dude out in like round one after a couple of minutes. I think I did look at it earlier. I'll try and make sure that's on the screen as well. And they said to him, look, dude, what are you doing right now for your diet? And don't forget, he's still pretty much looks exactly the same. He's not as, you know, crazy, crazy, but still. And he said, I don't have any kind of particular diet. I eat everything. I'm ready for this, right? I can eat 30 bars of chocolate, drink two cartons of milk, then eat five pounds of ice cream in bed. I mean, why are you doing it in bed? I don't know, but whatever floats your boat. I eat whatever I want, whenever I want, and I always have these beautiful muscles on my body. I, I read a few years ago that you said you don't follow any kind of particular diet. You never have. You eat anything you want, whenever you want, even junk food and things like that. Still at this age, you do this? Okay, so I don't have any kind of particular diet. I just, I eat everything I can eat. 30 bars of chocolate and drink two cartons of milk. <laughs> then I have, I can eat like three kilo, three, uh, five pounds of, of uh, ice creams in the, in bed. It's like I, I eat whenever I want, uh, whatever I want, whenever I want. And I always have this like beautiful, uh, muscles on my body. You're now saying, well, he takes a bunch of this and he takes a bunch of that and he's putting this up his whoopsie. And look, they, they may be all a true. The reason I always think it's good to caveat that stuff with is because it makes people think, well, if I start putting stuff up my whoopsie, all of a sudden I'm going to look like Marius. And I tell you right now, you are not. You are not going to look like him. This is somebody who has been born. You've heard it before and you'll hear it till the day we're all dead. This guy that has been born with superior genetics. Even if he didn't go to the gym, you could probably still look at him and go, man, that guy looks kind of bulky. And even if he went to the gym without a proper diet, which I suppose what he does do, you know what I'm saying, even if he just did it casually and went three times a week, he is still going to develop muscle. And the fact he can hold that much muscle still at 45 years old is absolutely uh, ridiculous. And he went on to say, uh, talking to Arel Hawani, who was doing the interview, that his physique is first and foremost a result of a systematic training regime he's maintained for decades, but he made it clear there is no limit as to what he can eat. Now, must have changed something because he talked about how when he did his second MMA fight, which was a two round affair, he struggled because of his cardio. So what I'm going to suppose has happened. That's probably the reason he looks less muscular now than he did three, four, five, six, seven years ago. Whenever he was at the top of strongman, I can't remember because do not forget. And some people don't actually think about this. When it comes to cardio, uh, cardiovascular activity, the more muscle you have, the more oxygen your body needs, right? It just stands to reason. So if you don't keep up your cardiovascular training, you see it in wrestling a lot too like when triple h came back in 2002 from his 2001 injury he was massive he was super big but one of the first things people noticed is man he's kind of getting all huffy and puffy and some of that was because obviously he had ring rust and get back into it but also his body was carrying more muscles so there's just more of him so it's harder to move i mean that's all it is it's simple but yeah he went on to say mma is a different sport than strongman obviously good shout there i must change everything i like that like an army commander i had to train eight years to drastically change my body in the kind of way that my body is functioning 
functioning because I couldn't stand five minutes or 10 minutes. Because again, it's probably so damn bulky. For eight years of my training, I wasn't capable of doing the whole 10 minutes in terms of the fight, like two rounds in MMA. So it's totally different. Weightlifting in MMA is like two different worlds. Even the strength in MMA and in weightlifting is different. It's not like you can lift 300 kilograms in strongman. It doesn't mean that strength will be good in MMA uh, because it's a different kind of strength. And we're calling him an MMA met veteran now. I don't know how many fights he's had. I'm not going to lie. But he says when he looks back to his loss to Tim Sylvia, which must have been at the start of his career because Tim Sylvia hasn't fought in ages. I don't think I could be wrong. He says it's basically because he didn't change his training up enough, whereas now slowly, slowly, step by step, slowly, slowly, and go to heavy training. And now in 13 years in MMA, is he 13 years in MMA? Man, my calendar's way off. Before, he thought he'd be finished in two fights and on he goes. But I just think it's nuts that you could, and I don't, if you know him, I don't mean personally, but if you know about his interview style and his uh, personality, I don't think he's joking around. <laughs> like he may be. <laughs> He may be, he may be being facetious here, but I don't think that he is. I really, really don't. He's one of these guys that he's always so damn direct, so damn straight. Like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to piss this, piss this guy off. But this doesn't mean that you go and eat, I've got it here, 30 bars of chocolate, two cartons of milk, five pounds of ice cream in bed. Like more often than not, and really 95% of the time, you've got to make sure your diet is strict in order to get the physique that you want because your body just doesn't work that way. I think that's why I always, always, always pimp out and always promote saying you've got to focus on how your body operates and how your body responds to training and how your body responds to food because that's the only way you're going to be able to get better is by accepting these things and moving on just in the same way if somebody has IBS or a dairy intolerance and they love milk well, it's just tough luck you just have to accept you can't have milk or you have to suffer and it's the same with your body if you have to have a low fat diet for some reason otherwise you get really fat that's just the way of it and you better accept it otherwise you're never going to get the physique that you want and that's somebody pointed out in the comments as well is we don't know how much training he's doing maybe he's an absolute beast i mean he looks like one and if he's doing crazy amounts of activity it's like a swimmer's diet i remember when michael phelps's diet first came out it's basically like i eat 72 pancakes for breakfast chocolate chip pancakes so people all got mad like well i want to eat chocolate chip pancakes for breakfast and then he said but yeah i'm basically training for like 12 hours a day if you are doing swimming for 12 hours a day you can eat chocolate chip pancakes for breakfast your body is just gonna be like oh my gosh fuel thank goodness i'm so tired i'm so exhausted and i did go into the comments like i say and of course people say i take as many steroids as i want i train hard ha ha funny funny eat clean train hard all the things you've heard before and again i'm not going to dispute that but it doesn't even matter because you can jump on all this stuff and again like i say it's not going to make a difference to you you ain't going to look like him you see it all the time it's kind of like this weird uh, what do you call it back and forth at the moment more and more people are being very very open about their steroid use we did a video about this how back in the day i was like oh no i can't talk about that but now people are like yeah man <laughs> smashing psalms smashing steroids who the hell cares and the positive of that is we're getting a lot more transparency where people say look i did all of this i did all that you know i injected an incredible amount of drugs and it didn't help me at all in fact it made things worse and i think that's really really good for that to get out there because then hopefully people will start to realize it isn't just a magic drug that you take and all of a sudden boom you look absolutely amazing and don't forget for every action there's a reaction too and your body may react in horrible ways so always be smart with this stuff don't think either that you can start doing it and that you'll be able to eat five pounds before ice cream or bed that is his body and the way that he metabolizes and the way that his genetics just deal with everything i wouldn't be able to do it if i even look at a hamburger bro, <laughs> it's just like a massive fat guy so i deal with it and i do it and you go through day by day. But I think the problem is that we're looking for excuse. Of course we do. You know, junk food is amazing. So we're always looking for excuse where we can be like, oh, I'll be all right. Like how many times have you got in quite decent shape and you're surprised? You take your top off, you look in the mirror, you go, oh yeah, look at that. It's pretty, really damn cool. Straight away you go, actually, that means I can have some nice food now because I've achieved my job. And then in a week, you're like, wait a minute, where did my good body go? And it's like, well, you eat pizzas for seven days. What did you think was going to happen? So always keep that in mind. Always be smart. Always set these articles with a pinch of salt and do not let it wreck you and do not let it throw you off course. And the reason that I'm so into doing videos like this is because it used to get me. I'm speaking from experience. It was mostly wrestler stuff, but you read things. Well, I'm going to start doing that. And a few weeks down the line, you'd be like, well, this isn't helping me at all. So don't do any of that. Don't worry about it. Treat it as entertainment first. And you keep going out there and, uh, you know, digesting as much information, as much education as you can for your certain predicament. And I promise you in time with the right dedication, consistency and discipline, you will have a good physique. It may not be your dream physique, but it will be a good physique which is pretty damn good. Now, please do leave a comment below, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hit the bell, ding, ding, so no videos going live. There will be a video on the screen. Give it a click because YouTube loves it. Grillamind.com forward slash Simon. There's a link in the description below. And if you use the code Simon, you get 10% off. These are supplements that I like. Please do try them. I'm sure you'll like them as well. In Greg Doucette's Power 13 cookbook on Instagram and Twitter at Simon316. Patreon.com forward slash Simon316 for exclusive videos. Simon at the big cartel.com for merch. And I'm on Cameo if you'd like a shout out. Otherwise, good seeing you. Take care. Bye-bye.